Hello, everybody. Welcome to The Political Vigilante. My name is Graham Elwood. Boom, you're making Gotham great again and shave your knuckles for justice. A new report just came out talking, did a whole bunch of polls of a bunch of small business owners and their views on health care coverage and costs. You know what small business owners have said? I'm a small business owner. They define small business owners as 500 or less employees, but there's even some tiers. There's like 50 or less employees or whatever. So I'm definitely a small business owner as I only have a handful of like part-time employees that I employ on occasionally. <laughs> but here's the thing. This breaks down. Strongly support, somewhat support, right? The dark blue and the light blue. Changes that they need to be made because they talk about this poll talks about it's one of their biggest costs, their biggest concerns. Sometimes they can't afford to get health care for their employees, but they're trying to stay competitive because if you're a small business owner and you want to hire a full time employee, you want to hire the best people, you want to offer them good wages, good benefits because the bigger companies are going to scoop them up. So you, you want to get the best talent out there by offering, so you have to stay competitive, right? I've lost a couple of really fine employees because I couldn't even pay them a full-time wage. So most generic drugs in the market, disclosed list price, the cap out-of-pocket expenses, but down here have Medicare for all. Strongly support and somewhat support. You add it together, 58% of the small business owners polled want Medicare for all. Because if there's Medicare for all, then I as a small business owner, you as a small business owner, don't have to worry about that cost. So when they sit there and they, they spew nonsense, which is, this is, look, the, the healthcare and the health insurance industry and the lobby has come up with think tanks and they've concocted these ridiculous studies and whatever to say, you know, to counteract this, oh, it's gonna cost so much more money. As a small business owner, if I don't have to pay for insurance because the government covers it, then all my employees are insured which just makes for better employees, but it's not coming out of my pocket. So then the profits that my company makes can go back into my employees. I can pay my employees more money and I can invest more in my business. I can spend more money on marketing to bring in more money and this, that, and the other thing, right? I talk about this show all the time. I wish I had the money. I wish I was big enough of the show that I could afford a full-time producer to do all this stuff with me to help tweak the audio and all the little tweaks I need to do and push me out. There's so many little things just to run this YouTube channel. I'm doing it all myself. I hire little people to, to not little, but I mean like um, uh, little amounts of time, little jobs, little tasks <laughs> um, to do the work. Like once the, to do the credit scrolls, I, the, the, there's a woman I hire part-time, you know, and it's literally, we're talking about three hours a month you know, and I, little jobs here and there, but that's all I can afford. So let's go into the, let's, let's, let's break down the numbers of self-employed people. There are an estimated 30.7 small businesses defined as those with fewer than 500 employees in the United States, employing approximately 60 million people. So once again, when they say Medicare for all, oh, it's going to be too expensive. 60 million people then would get insurance, which would help the 30 over almost 31 million small businesses, this show being one of them. The Jimmy Dore show being another. <laughs> Get your news on with Ron being a third. The Kim Iverson show, the Convo Couch, we're all small business owners, okay? Employing over 47% of the private sector workforce and accounting for about one third of America's export value. So. All of our companies become more valuable because everyone will have insurance. So the money it would cost for, for Medicare for all, yes, we would have to spend money on Medicare for all. How are you gonna pay for it? Well, everyone's insurance, no one's paying monthly insurance rates, no one's going out of de uh, deductibles, out of pocket, copay, none of that, right? Your taxes might go up a little bit, but what you were paying will be less. See what I'm saying? This is what you're paying now. Your taxes would go up here, but then this number comes down, so it's ultimately lower, and then small businesses benefit. If you're a small business owner or you work for a small business, one of the things about working for a small business is are they gonna go out of business? Am I gonna lose my job? 
Well, if they're struggling to pay your salary and your health insurance, yeah. If now health insurance they don't have to pay for, you're, you're more, your job is more secure. The 60 million people working for small businesses, their jobs are now more secure. These are all the things that um, they have to worry about as a small business owner. Cost of providing health care coverage to employees. 37% attracting new customers, rising cost of business, not involving benefits, attracting and retaining quality employees, local. So the, all of these things are the number one cause, the number one cost, the number one concern of any small business owner is healthcare coverage to employees. You get rid of that, now two things happen. They can spend more money on these things these things aren't as serious of an issue now. Small businesses are the backbone of America. Thinking, this is one of the questions about your business, is the cost of providing healthcare coverage to employees a major problem, a minor problem, not much of a problem, or not a problem at all? 26 or more employees, two to 25 employees total. Seven in the 70 percentile. Major problem, 40, 40 to 45% minor problem. So between major and minor problem, it's, in, it's three quarters of the people said it. Again, that problem goes away with Medicare for All. Which of the following actions have you taken or adjustments have made to decrease the cost of healthcare coverage to employees? Increased deductibles and co-payments for employees. So the small business owner has to pass it on to the employee. So now, and I'm sure all of you can attest, when everyone's like, you're gonna get rid of your insurance already, I don't know anybody that says their insurance is better now than it was five or 10 years ago. Everyone I talk to, people in the actors unions, people with regular jobs, right? A friend of mine, he and his wife, they work for a big pharmaceutical company, and he's like, Graham, we have great insurance and it costs a more, three, four, five thousand dollars out of pocket than what it used to cost. And they make good, they make good money. Negotiate with the current carrier for lower rates, okay? Change carriers, required your employees to pay higher premiums. Reduced or eliminated. So one, two, these three categories are hurt the employees. Again, this all goes away. Below are some types of ways you'd be able to join with other small business owners. Now, this is a good thing too. A volunteer association of small business owners, 78% said yes. I'm down with that. Organization that offers group health insurance, okay. Organize a phone bank, collectively hire advocacy firm, fine. So this is, so, so people want, the small business owners that like, we want to get together, we want to have a stronger voice. Because again, if I join an advocacy group or a volunteer organ, then I have more, if I'm just me, Graham Elwood in the political vigilante, I don't have as much say. Small business owners want Medicare for all. It would be better for small business owners, which would be better for 60 million Americans, including me. Thanks for watching the show, everybody. Great way to support what I'm doing. Go to patreon.com slash Graham Elwood. I need your support, man. They're throttling. We, we grew. We went from 20 to 52,000 like that. And now they're, they're throttling again. They're unsubscribing people. So make sure you've hit the subscribe. Even if you've done it in the past, do it again. Like, share, subscribe. And I need your help on Patreon. I need your help on rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood. Any way you can help. I have a PayPal button if you can just want to do a one-time thing. If you go to GrahamElwood.com and I also have a P.O. box. Some of you don't want to do anything digitally. That's cool. If you're like, Graham, I can only do a one-time donation or whatever. That's cool. I get it. If money's tight, watch these videos all the way. Through. You know, Watch the ads. Don't click skip ad. Share them out on your social media. A lot, a lot of great free ways to support the show. And then come see me on the road. I'm going to be in Moscow uh, the 20th, St. Petersburg, Russia the 28th. And Ron Placona and I are doing the Progressive Comedy Tour in Australia in November, Melbourne, Adelaide, Sydney, and Perth. Go to GrahamElwood.com for all your tour dates. You're all making Got Them Great again. Thank you.